Okay, what is up, everybody? We are live. Welcome to your daily dose of awesome. Your live 15 minutes of daily motivation, inspiration, and education so you can get your day started right. Today's topic is on the three tweaks you can make in your business to create lifelong customers and team members. Uh, I we, And delivering this awesome training will be the wonderful Kate McShay. How are you doing, Kate? I'm doing, doing awesome, awesome for me. How are you doing? doing? You're, you're all blurry. What's going on? Okay, there you go. Now I'm good. <laughs> I needed to readjust. It was, it was like, like, oh, fix your hair. <laughs> the, the cameras with their autofocus you know, sometimes don't work. Yeah. Awesome. Exactly. So, so Kate, um, real, I'm going to do a quick intro real quick, and then I'm going to bring you on, hand it over to you, and you can uh, deliver all your wonderful wisdom. That sound good? Sounds good to me. Awesome. So, guys, my name is Fernie Savalas. I'm a lead generation online marketing expert specializing in helping Home business owners, that's network marketers, direct sellers, and affiliate marketers, multiply their incomes using the internet. Now, I built my first six-figure network marketing business within a couple of years of discovering the information we teach here at Elite Marketing Pro. And over the past 10 years, I've been responsible for over $11 million in gross income into my business, and also hundreds of million dollars more in the incomes of our clients and students here at Elite Marketing Pro. So this stuff works, and what Kate is going to share with you is actually one of the uh, you know, cornerstones of actually creating not only a six or seven figure incomes, but uh, one that sustains itself for the rest of your life, which is, you know, better than something that, that flails and you're broke again. So uh, if you're new to our training, I highly recommend you subscribe to our online recruiting bootcamp. It's actually linked in the description. If all of this is new, if the internet world is new, that is the perfect free course for you to go through and learn about how online prospecting, online marketing works. Also, we do these lives every single day, Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern. You can get notifications for these lives on your phone by simply on the top right corner, clicking on the top right corner of this video right now. First of all, what that's gonna allow you to do is, is uh, like our fan page. That'll unlock all the content we currently have posted on our fan page. And two, you'll be able to subscribe to these live notifications. Make sure to subscribe to videos and live posts and so Whenever we post a new a new training video or do one of these lives, you'll get an immediate notification and you'll be able to join us live or watch the recording later. If you're on desktop, you can simply above the description click on our logo or the name uh, or Elite Marketing Pro where it says that. That'll take you to our fan page. Click like and on that like button, there's a pull down menu where you'll be able to turn on notifications. So this is how we deliver our best training. And as you will find out, as as Kate will show you, this training is pretty freaking awesome. So, Kate, what is up? Hi, oh, you're so peppy this morning. I love it. <laughs> I'm not peppy? I'm not peppy. What are you talking about? Yeah, you I'm, are. You sound very fired up, which is exciting. I don't, <laughs> it's a good thing. I don't do peppy. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, I need to talk like this. <laughs> All right, Kate. Well, no, I'm doing awesome. Want me to take it over? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to hand it over to you because we only got uh, 15 minutes, actually less than that. So, right. knock it out of the park. Thank you. All right, let's do this. Okay, so what I wanted to talk to you about today, which is um, exactly how Ferdy introduced, um, this conversation that I want to have with you is really all about uh, three tweaks that you can make. And I like to think of it as a way to reprogram the way that you might think about business in order to attract lifelong customers and teammates um, or potentially clients into your business. And this was a huge shift that I made um, especially, I would say about 12 months into really starting to see traction and success in my business that allowed us to consistently have right around a six figure per year income residually. And it was due to something that we started to implement in our business. So the, the whole reason that I'm sharing with this with you today, this morning, this evening, wherever you are, is because I was actually on a training last night um, that I was doing for some new students of ours and uh, my buddy Ray Higdon was on and we were having a conversation about what really, um, what it really means to either lead teammates or build a team or create an empire in whatever kind of business that you have, okay? Um, and one of the biggest things that I know he's identified and that I also identified as well that really made a difference and a shift in our business was um, how we make people feel, okay? and who we focus on in order to keep people around as customers, teammates, or uh, potentially clients, or, or whatever style of person that you bring into your business, right? 
So initially, in the beginning, and I don't know if this has ever happened to you before, just comment in. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback and be able to engage with you after this call is um, all set. Is when I first started out, I was always focused in on the transaction. So I was focused in on how many new customers can I bring in each day? How many new teammates can I bring in? How many new people can you know I roll into my business? And I was always thinking about new, new, new. And then what I started to realize was that there are a whole bunch of like new people, right? After pulling in and recruiting and bringing in a ton of new people, there are all these people over here that I wasn't really paying attention to, okay? And then I thought, well, what if I could start paying attention to the people over here and also attract new people to me, like maybe if I didn't have like a huge list of people yet of prospects or I didn't have a big team yet, how could I start creating that process before I even had customers and buyers? Because one of the biggest things that I've noticed that was a huge shift for me, and it's a really, really cool quote, and actually Ray shared it last night with our students, was, I'm just going to read it off my screen, it's by Napoleon Bonaparte, and it's no amount of money will induce someone to lay down their life, but they will gladly do so for a bit of yellow ribbon. So what I started to think about and what I encourage and empower you to start thinking about is the majority of people, no matter what, okay, no matter what product or service you have or if you're building some sort of opportunity where people are able to make money, no one, the majority of people, okay, like three to four percent of people will get into something and stay somewhere because of how much money they can make. The majority of people actually stay because they feel included in something, they feel significant, they're recognized for their achievements no matter how big or small, and that's what keeps people around. So one of the biggest things that I started to learn is in the beginning, right, when I'm pulling in all those new customers and I'm just thinking about sale, 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 I started to think about, well, what could be ways that I could make people feel like they belong and make people feel like they're part of a community? And so what I wanted to share with you today was three different tweaks that you can actually start utilizing even if you don't have a big huge team yet or you don't have a big client or customer base, how you can actually start utilizing this today right now inside of your own business, okay? In order to become this person who has this crazy big business empire that continues to last, right? Versus what Fernie was talking about where you can make a ton of money and then all of a sudden it fizzles out. Like for me, I would rather have a business that consistently grows and grows and grows, have amazing customers, right, and teammates that just absolutely love and adore where they're at, but then I also have new people coming in that are just soaking up everything and want to make sure that they're a part of it too. So the first step, okay, the first step in order to make this happen is actually creating a community. Now there's two ways that you can do this, okay, and there's two ways that I've done it in the past that have worked really well. The first step is say you're just starting out and you don't have any um, you know, customers that have signed up with you yet or you don't have any teammates that have signed up with you yet, start a free Facebook group, okay? That's one of the best ways to start getting people into a space where they start getting connected to you. So you get them into a free Facebook group where you share out on a daily basis some sort of content or some sort of training, some sort of value that you can offer out to them it would be helpful to them, right? And then when it's time for you to actually refer out products or services of yours, those are gonna be the people that raise their hands immediately. Now the other kind of group, okay, if you wanna up it a little bit, if you actually have had people, if you've made sales before, if you have um, any teammates or anything like that, what you can do is start up a Facebook mastermind group, okay, where you actually welcome in people in order to, um, you welcome in people, sorry, Marley's just gonna bark, this is, Bernie and I were talking about this. This is what happens when you live on the Pacific Coast <laughs> and you get people that come and visit your uh, home. Hopefully they go away. Okay, so let me get back into um, creating a Facebook group, okay, for your actual um, buyers or for your teammates. Giving them a space and a place where they can feel connected to you and where they get content and training from you and where they feel like what they say and what they do matters, okay? So it can be a place where they ask questions, it can be a place where you give them shout outs for little, for little steps that they've made in order to become you know, bigger and better towards whatever they're trying to achieve in life. But having a space where you can create a community, whether it's free, 
or it's just for your paid customers or clients is really, really helpful. That's the first step. Okay. Now, second step, which I start, which I didn't initially do in the beginning. And I'm really happy that um, it's a transition that I made. And I'd, I'd like you guys to actually start doing this quicker than I did. So one of the biggest things when it comes to, especially if you're building a team or if you have some sort of business where you're going to have other clients and customers coming to you to look for some sort of service that you're going to help them with. So it might be like a coaching business um, or anything where you're going to be doing work with them to help them grow is finding testimonials, right? So one of the biggest things that I used to look for um, in the beginning was I want to find that person that's like, you know, all of a sudden started up out of nowhere and now all of a sudden is, you know, enrolling 15 people every single day into their business and like they didn't have any marketing skills or anything like that, right? So I wanted to find those people who are like the home runs that, you know, that, that made this like big impact immediately. And then what I started to realize was that that actually became difficult for other people that were in my community to relate to. Because you have a lot of people out there, especially in the home business space, that are like, well, I do this part time or I don't have, I can't see myself doing that. I wouldn't ever be able to bring in that many people into my business or I'm not going to be able to set up Facebook ads like that and get those kind of results in such a short amount of time. So what I started looking for and what I encourage and what I encourage you to do is start looking for people to start sharing the little baby steps that they've made, those little results that they've made, that have made an impact in their life. Even if it was just the other day I sent out my first email or the other day I had, I finally picked up the phone and I gave a call to one of my new customers or I'm so excited because yesterday was the first day that I shot my first Facebook live. Recognize those people for the little triumphs that they've had inside of your community and publicly recognize them on your personal page or on your, um, on your Facebook fan page, you can even interview them and share that as email content to your list because that alone, those little teeny tiny steps and results and interviewing those people is going to do two things. Number one, it's going to lock in those people for life that they want to stay connected to you because you're going to recognize them for the significance that they're making. And then the, the second piece that's really important to that is that it's also going to attract other people and help them believe that it's something that they can do too versus always just sharing these success stories of these people who you know have a slam dunk or have that home run where you want that believability for other people to know that oh wow if i joined you know if i joined mary if i joined steve i could get those kind of results too and they help other people rise up to actually get results now the third thing you can do to create a massive community of people who love to just be around you and everything you do are two different things. Okay. I'm going to give you a bonus one. First one is leveraging your time. Okay. So if you have people that are coming to you asking, or you're noticing that once you create that community, there's a consistent question that keeps coming up, shoot a quick training video on it or write a quick blog post on it, and then actually send that out to people when they have questions. Number one, there's a couple of different things that it does. That allows you to then leverage your time, right? So you don't have to continually keep repeating the answers to that similar question. And it also gives you a resource that you can send out to other people outside of your community, okay? So what I suggest doing is, is documenting any questions that you get inside of your community and either doing videos or you might even host a weekly webinar um, that goes through certain training that you can walk people through. And then you have that for life, which is so powerful. And then the other piece, okay, that's really, really critical to keep people around is I love hosting contests, like little mini contests on different things that you can do in order to get people to either produce more, okay, inside of your business or to just feel like there's something fun that they can be involved in that they want to stick around with. And one of the key things you can do, okay, rather than just throwing out these big major prizes that, you know, like first place gets, you know, an iPad mini, second place gets, um, you know, uh, second place gets a, you know, whatever it is, um, a GoPro. The other thing you can do to get people to stay, because a lot of people won't even have the belief that they could ever hit first, second, or third place, 
is give them a small little prize. So if they make one sale or if they, if they make you know, five completed calls to prospects or whatever it is, um, if they make three sales, they get a mini prize, and it might be like one-on-one -on -one coaching with you, or it could be like a really cool mug, or it might be a neat t-shirt. But giving people those little teeny prizes will keep people locked in because you've given them the belief that they can actually participate as well. So the biggest thing that I wanted to share with you today was just a sneak peek into some tweaks that you can do in order to start creating and building a long-term community, okay, no matter what product or service, you're marketing, what, no matter if you're building a team, giving people significance in their life, a place where they feel connected, and a place where they feel valued for no matter how big or small their triumphs are, is what will allow you to continue to have paying customers, repeat buyers, and teammates that continue to stay, even if they're not necessarily producing these insane results, they're going to stay because they love what you've created and what you've allowed to foster inside of that community building. So that for me alone is one of, I know, the biggest things that will be necessary in the future in order to create these long lasting customer relationships and team relationships. So that's what I had to share with all of you guys this morning. Awesome, Kate. That was, that was excellent. I think, um, I mean, that's one of the things that even a lot of online marketers, affiliate marketers who are doing really well miss is that they don't yeah. they have no community they have no yeah. sense of, of of belonging they're just like turn and burn you know they're generating leads get them to buy something and then those people basically fizzle out and uh yeah exactly you know it's like you've seen and that this is how like people with like you know small lists you know marketers with small relatively small lists are able to crush affiliate contests are able to produce multiple six figure even seven figure incomes because they have this tribe of people that are so loyal and so dedicated uh you know so the stuff you gave was was absolute gold so you don't have to be generating hundreds of leads a day you don't have to be mm -hmm. you know a marketing wizard the most important thing that you can do to create a following that's going to matter for you and for them is to do exactly what you just described so exactly awesome yep, totally Yep. Thanks, Kate. That was that was excellent. And like always, whenever you come on, people just start piling on and come in droves <laughs> and giving you love. So, so Vondell, <laughs> Scott, Tan, Jeannie, Ellen, they're all here for you. Uh, you've got people from Scotland, uh, Cambodia. Oh, wow. Nice. Robert, Maori, David, give Kate some love, guys. Sh show her. Aww. Show her how much how much we appreciate her. Jesslyn, Andy, nice Betsy, all you guys for coming Cynthia, on. Cecilia, oh, wow. Emma, Betsy, Tori, they're all here for you. They all love you, Kate. Thank you so much for, for contributing. Oh, well, I love being here and love serving this community. You guys are absolutely great. And I mean, one of the biggest things that you guys can look into by executing on this strategy is look at what Elite Marketing Pro does. They're amazing at what they do in order to create a community of people who um, who really stand by each other and who support each other and raise raise each other up. So definitely make sure that you hop into that community as well. You can actually learn from the experts. Ah, uh, thank you, Kate. You're welcome. <laughs> awesome. So we'll be back tomorrow. I'll I'll be on tomorrow. So if you can, I'm not as pretty as Kate, but hopefully you guys <laughs> will, will join me. And so. With that said, thanks a lot. That's a wrap. Thanks, Kate. Uh, and again, if you're new to all this online marketing stuff, there's a link in the description that I'll, that's a free course that walks you through in detail everything we do here to create a following, generate leads online, and you know change your life. So that's it. Take care, everybody. Have an awesome day. Bye, guys.